All right, so this is kind of the default setting, and you, there's, I, I hinted at it yesterday, you can customize this any way you want. And so now you've had enough exposure to the software, I wanna show you where you would begin to make some of those changes. So if you'll notice, this is like a gray engine on a gray background. You know, it, it's, you know, transitions from dark gray to light on the bottom. One of the things that you might run across in your classrooms is a student who's colorblind. You know, so, you know, they have different needs than those of us who, who aren't colorblind. And for me, because I do so much, um, you know, capturing of screens and things like that. I, I do a lot of printing. So, you know, having a background that's all gray like this really kills a printer. So I change the backgrounds. So up in the corner, if we you know, click on our little icon, we are gonna see that, all right, so here's all the parts I've been working on, that type of thing. But over here on the side, we've got all these other options. So there's a settings, you know, so we can customize this interface. So if I do that, there's all these different options here. And the first one I wanna show you, because some kid will go in and change it and then won't be able to find anything. And same thing with teachers, but we do it by accident. We don't do it on purpose, but uh, these things called themes, all right? So if you look at it uh, right now, it's set to balanced, which is a default setting. And so that shows you all these, you know, nice toolbars and things. If you do first steps, you're gonna find that there's a lot of things that you can't do because the toolbars aren't visible. And some next steps and some assistance, maximum assistance gives you these little dialog box all over the place. Uh, maximum worst space, you know, gets rid of all your um, toolbars and things. So if you're having an issue with a student's computer, make sure it's on, on the balanced end of things. So, because um, some of these things will require a restart. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. And the other piece that I want you to, to see is this one called options. So when you click on it, it takes a while to come up. And there are general settings, you know, uh, showing the units in the value fields, that type of thing. Um, and it goes down, uh, intelligent sketch options, or does it find the, like the center point of a line, that type of thing. So you can go in and, and define how those things work. This view uh, one is really important. Uh, if you start seeing, if you move your mouse and you get those crosshairs that stagger one on top of another, uh, that's a sign that the software is a whole lot faster than your graphics card. So you can take it off of automatic selection and put it either on graphics card driven or software driven, and uh, you'll have much better luck. Uh, those of us with, you know, high power graphics card, uh, we don't have to worry about that, but not every school is fortunate enough to have that. We go to colors and every color signifies something on the screen. But if you have somebody that's colorblind, uh, and, you know, and you have two colors that, you know, your eye can see the difference, but their eye can't, you can go in and change, you know, so they, they have different hues and that type of thing. And up here at the top, there's a background view override. All right, so generally the background is uh, a gradient. That's what it defaults to. And you can do gradients, uh, you know, like if I do a gradient from diagonal down and I say, okay, then it gives me this sliding scale uh, on a diagonal. If I do it solid, I can do a solid white background and that's what I usually run. And so now you see that, you know, I don't have that gradient there. I can concentrate more on what's there. Uh, I'm a little dyslexic, so it's really nice to, you know, get rid of as much graphics input as I can. You know, there's this joke about engineers, uh, you know, you can, you can 
tell an introverted engineer because they, they look at their shoes while they talk to you. And an extroverted engineer looks at your shoes while they talk to you. And, you know, the first time I heard that, I was like, oh, okay. But really the, the cue there is, is they're very graphically oriented people and any distraction just sends them off uh, on a tangent. So we eliminate as many of those distractions as we can. So, and, and you can go through and you can do unit styles, you know, how much, what's your precision, uh, you know, what units are you working with? So if something's not coming out in a unit you want, you can come back over here and change it. All right, so that, that's a pretty handy thing to have. And we can, you know, customize our dimensions and all kinds of things uh, as you get in, uh, to this. Um, and then there's some settings for a generative design and simulation. Simulation we'll talk about towards the end of the week. Generative design is like one of those second year uh, type courses. So you can set just about anything you want in those settings. Now, the kids really get a kick out of some of this stuff. And I know there were a few people yesterday that we introduced the concept of sketching, especially orthographic sketching, where we had a, a right view and a front view and a top view. So if I go to um, the view tab up here, I have a, a part painter here. So the part painter, it comes out and we can select any face feature or body. So I'm going to pick face for this. And this is saying I could do teal. So I just made the front view teal. And I'll pick a different color and you know, let's go hot red. So hot red, I can do my anything that would appear in a side view, hot red. And why don't we do blue for a top? And if I could spell blue, it'd be handy. So I'm going to see, you know, so you can pick, I'll just make that blue so we, we see some differentiation. And this one doesn't show as well as I'd hoped. Oh, that's why. Okay. So we can, you know, your kids will get a kick out of changing colors of things. And for that team that decided to download the train parts, the train parts were already colored when you downloaded them. So we could do that and, and we can, you know, take it from a default view to a high quality view. And we can take it into a rendering type view. So you'll notice that there's some, you know, changes. I'm going to change this back to default view. And I'm just going to save this for right now. And later on, I'll go back and change everything back. 